You know that feeling when you went to a certain place for the holidays and you cannot wait to get back there? Well, I had the exact same thing happen to me while scouting for Wonderkids in Football Manager because in today's episode, we are going back to Brazil. What's up guys, my name is Jochen aka Leo Demus and in today's video I will show you five more beautiful wonder kits that I have discovered while scouting in Brazil. If you have missed any of the previous episodes there should be a link up here to the entire playlist so feel free to check that out, bookmark the playlist because I don't want you to miss a single one of these hidden gems. And also, of course, you know the drill by now. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more of it, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button down below. It is free for you, but it massively helps me out as a creator. Now, before I show you the first player I found, I just want to mention that if you thought that last guy in the last episode was good, Kaiki, that central defender. Oof. I have a treat for you coming right at the end of this episode, so stay tuned till the very end, sit back, relax, and let's meet our five superstars. And we are kicking things off with King Arthur himself. 16 years old, at Fluminense, he is in their under 20s team even. He is valued somewhere between 550k and 1.2 million, which is nothing if you ask me. And as most players we discovered in the series so far, his starting profile is nothing really spectacular. But his passing is good, 14, technique also 14. Determination is not the worst, but also certainly not the best. And his work rate of 9 kind of worries me as far as his development will go. So let's have a look. He is an attacking midfielder. Will he stay that way? Will he become a shadow striker type? Will he become a playmaker type? Let's find out after 12 seasons. And here we are, man. The year is 2033 and he is 28 years old now. He's not capped. And what which surprises me most is that he is still at Fluminense. He's valued between 14 and 16 million, which I guess is a good bump from his uh, initial value. And to be brutally honest, I don't know why this guy is still playing in Brazil. Because the highlighted attributes are those of the advanced playmaker in the camp position. And look at this man, passing 17, technique 17, which is really high, mind you. Vision 16, flare 15, first touch 16, and his physicals are pretty darn awesome. Apart from his jumping reach, but I mean, come on, he's a cam. As some player trades, gets forward whenever possible and likes the ball played into feet. Now, I don't know what you guys think of him, but mm, for that money, for his initial value... I think it's a bargain because I am quite certain that he is not at his full potential the way we see him right now. Let's have a look at his career and maybe we can determine where it kind of went wrong. Who knows? And I think that is pretty obvious. Fluminense decided not to play him for what, like four, five, six seasons? Which kind of messed up his development. I'm pretty sure of it. If you guys sign this guy, please. At least play him or loan him out or give him some decent training, which is very important for the development. Don't do this, basically. He had some decent seasons, but not like world class or elite level. But once again, man, I think it is a real bargain, this guy. Remember the name Arthur? If you keep a close eye on his development, you see his work rate went up. It's 13 now. His determination went up. It's 14. Give him some good mentoring to bump that all up. Give him some good individual training. Loan him out if you have to, but I guarantee you he can get better than this. And in all honesty, I still think he is a pretty darn good playmaker. Second guy in today's video is Mr. Gabriel Pirani. He is a central midfielder at Santos, 19 years old at the start of the game. Valued somewhere between 300k and 3 million. Again, nothing that really stands out except for his balance and natural fitness, which is awesome to start off with. Determination 12, work, 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 work rate, Jesus, work rate 13. Those attributes are really important for his development as I keep mentioning. So I think we have a good foundation here to have a potential elite midfielder, but we will just have a look within 12 seasons how this guy turns out to be. Oh, come on. The exact same thing happened 
as it did with Arthur. He is still at Santos, I don't get it. Because if we look at his profile, he is now 31 years old of course, I don't know what his value is, let's maybe do the old ask agent trick, almost unsellable, okay. You know what, let's try and put an offer in, 30 million, suggest terms, and they reject it. So you do the math, I can't tell you his exact value, but that's pretty high isn't it? So let's look at his profile again, first touch 15, passing 15, vision 15 and technique 16, that screams playmaker and those are also the attributes you can see highlighted here right now. Balance is awesome, determination went up to 15, which is really good, player traits only plays 1-2s. I'm not saying he's an elite level midfielder, but I mean, you saw his initial value, right? So if there ever was a deep lying playmaker bargain to be found at Santos, you're looking at him. Let's have a look at his career. Because of course it's pretty obvious, but at least, at least, except for this season, they played him at Santos, which probably was crucial for his development. And you know what, man? Look at these seasons right here. Damn. So guys, if you're looking for a more attacking-minded playmaker, maybe Arthur was the better option, but I mean, come on, for a deep-lying playmaker, this is a pretty decent guy to sign. Next player. And what do you know, another central midfielder. Joao Gomez is at the reserves at Flamengo. He's 20 years old at the start of the game, valued somewhere between 350k and 3.5 million. And same situation as Pirani, starting attributes pretty nice. Determination of 15, work rate of 14, which is awesome for his development. I can't, because I didn't scout him, I don't know the initial star ratings he has compared to my Liverpool players, but I guess the main question is, is he already playing close to his full potential or is the best yet to come? Let's find out. Third in a row, he is still in Brazil, he is still at his original club of Flamengo. 32 years old now. I mean, he's a pretty good ball winning midfielder. He has gained some player traits, shoots from distance because long shots 12. Okay, not the best, but I get it. Comes deep to get the ball, tries long range passes, likes to switch ball to wide areas. That kind of also screams playmaker to me though. Let's highlight those attributes on a defend duty. There we go. And as you can see, not too shabby his strength could be a little bit higher i mean 12 is not the worst but for a like a holding a ball winning midfielder it's pretty important especially his passing is pretty darn good for a natural dm work rate 16 determination 15 concentration 15 i am eager to see if a flamengo played him and b why no one signed him so first two seasons disaster after that Okay, I'll give him that, they played him. Of course, he's not going to be the goal machine, but look at this season, for example. Nine goals, six assists, three player of a match awards. That's pretty decent for a ball-winning midfielder, isn't it? I don't know what his value is, but let's do the same thing as we did with uh, Pirani, and that is ask agent about availability. Um, boom, almost unsellable. Okay, let's put an offer in. I'm going to go for 25, you know what, no, let's start at 20 million. Suggest terms, unacceptable. So again, I can't tell you the exact value, but if we if we compare the like his initial value to 20 million, which is not going to be enough even, we can all agree that this is yet another bargain I have found for you guys to put in your squad. Now guys, before I show you the last two players, which are absolute ballers, by the way, so stay tuned. I would just want to say this. If there is a player in any of these videos that I totally forgot about or missed, feel free to use the comment section. We are all doing this to help each other out. So if you have discovered someone in the areas that I am covering, do not hesitate. Use the comment section. Player number four in today's video is Peglo. Just Peglo. And he is already in Europe, but he is at Porto on loan from Internacional in Brazil. He is 19 years old. He's kind of a left winger slash inside forward or inverted winger because he's right footed. His flair is awesome, so that screams inside forward to me. 
Determination 14, work rate 11. Not the best, but okay, more than okay even. Acceleration is good, pace is good, dribbling is good with a 13. I am predicting big things for this guy, but we will only know when we have looked at his career after 12 seasons. Okay, this is starting to get a little bit ridiculous, if you ask me, because this guy also four in a row is still in Brazil, and I don't know why. But let's have a look at his profile, maybe we'll find out. He is now rated as a 2.5 star attacking midfielder or a 2.5 star inverted winger on the left side as well. Compared to my Liverpool squad, never forget that. And he is awesome. In my opinion, this is an awesome player. Let's change this to inside forward attack. His finishing, okay, 12. Not the best, but decent. But the rest, man, dribbling 15, first touch 15, passing 15, vision 15. So we could also play him as a winger on support, although his crossing is not the best, but screw that. Player traits, moves into channels, tries killer balls off and dwells on ball, tries long range passes, cuts inside from the left wing. Again, uh, as the previous players, I have no clue why this dude is still playing in Brazil, but he is a decent player. Let's look at his career. So, went to Porto on loan, then Internacional decided not to play him for one whole season, which sucks, but then look at the stats, man, Jesus. He has had a pretty nice career, if you ask me. He hasn't had a single season where he at least played more than 20 games of less than a 7 as an average rating. 12th player of match awards. Sweet mother of God. I mean, why why was that not a trigger for the Liverpool, Liverpools or whatever of this world to sign him? I don't know. I don't know how much he is worth. So let's do the trick again. Ask agent. We are very keen on signing Peglo. He doesn't have any interest in that. He, he doesn't want to come to Liverpool. What? Okay, and chat. Let's just try and find an offer at least that they will uh, accept. Remember, he is already 31. So this might not be a very um, good idea to go higher than 30 million. But they still reject it. So again... He's worth at least 30 million. Check him out in your saves. Let me know down in the comment section if you have signed him. If he got better or equally as good as this. Now, one more player to go. If you thought Kaiki in the last episode was any decent, you are in for a treat. Because I present to you Morato, a central defender, six foot three. He is already in Europe. He is playing, or he's contracted at least to uh, Benfica. Valued somewhat higher, or a lot higher even, than most of the players we see in this series. But I could not resist to put him in the episode, man, because, oh, sweet mother of God, this guy is nuts. Already valued at 20 years old as a two star ball playing defender, marking 15, tackling 14, determination 12, work rate 12, not the highest, but I mean, I think this guy doesn't even care. So let's have a look at how he progresses and where he ends up after 12 seasons. Yes, we have found another. Well, is it a hidden gem? I don't know. I'll let you guys decide it. But look at this profile, man, at age 32. He is valued as a three star ball playing defender, which I think is not enough. Let's look at his profile and you'll probably see why. Heading 15, jumping reach 17. 6 foot 3 still. Get this man on near post corners. You know what will happen. Marking, passing is 16. For a central defender, I mean, I told you if you thought Kaiki was good in the last episode, pair him up with this guy and you will probably have the best ball playing defender pair, at least Brazilian dudes, we have seen in a very, very long time. Tackling 15, vision is awesome again for a ball playing defender. Player traits, marks opponent tightly. Ding, tries to play his way out of trouble. Stays back at all times, does not dive into tackles. He's left footed also. I mean, let's look at his career because again, no value. We'll get to that later. Let's first look at where this guy has been. So, started out at Benfica. They decided not to play him, not even in the B team. Come on. But then played him for one season and one season only, and PSG 
came a knocking. 32 and a half million went to Paris Saint Germain, played, which is, I mean, I think, what was his age then? Like 23? And he played 23 games as well? That's neat, man. But then Newcastle's, the big boys slash new owners, came in with an offer nobody could refuse. 60 million guacamoles and skadoosh. Morato went to Newcastle. He also played there, which is, well, I mean, imagine that, man. Buying a player for 60 million and not even playing him. That would be absurd. But they played him and he did well. Now, let's have a look if we can see how much this guy is actually worth. Let's go to Ask Agent. Boom. Almost unsellable. Cliché. Let's do the old make an offer thing. And I want to say he is already 32. So, poo. Should I go for 30 million? Let's go for 35. I think it's a lot, but we'll see. And they reject it. So, again, also for this last guy, I can tell you his exact value, but I mean, what a player. Pair this guy up with Kaiki from the last episode. I've mentioned it before. Oof. Filth. And that concludes our dual episode of Scouting for Wonder Kids in Brazil. If I missed someone, if I missed a Wonder Kid that you know or you discovered, let me know down in the comment section. And if you have signed one of these guys that I just showed you, also let me know how they developed. Did they reach their full potential in my simulation? I don't know. So let me know if you have bought them how they did in the comment section. And with that, all that is left for me to say is thank you so much for all the support I'm getting so far in the series. It is awesome. I appreciate it a lot. And I will see you in the next videos because we have Africa coming up, a dual episode again in Argentina, and of course, a lot of European countries as well. Stay tuned for that. Thanks again for being here, guys. Peace out.